Hello, welcome back. This is John. Thank you for joining me for another 3 to 1 e-commerce .net tutorial. And now we're going to be covering the work order app module. Let's just click on the, uh, let's just close this one first. So from when you log in, uh, uh, you click on your apps. These are the, uh, your active apps, the one that you've already paid for and currently active. Now, the, the, the list of work order here, uh, it's empty because there's no records from them. There's nothing yet. So what we need to do is we need to add the category. First off, we always need to add categories so that way everything's in order. Okay, so now we put into categories. Click on here. Click on uh, add new. Maybe we want it to call uh, work order uh, tech support. So I'm just going to call um, that tech support. We're, we're sending people already. So, um, on site service. Service. Our team on location. On location service, say for example. Again, you you get, you define what you have for your categories and the description of those categories. If you need help on defining what you need for your particular business, we also provide a consulting service. So that way we can guide you and analyze how your process is running or how your company operates, and then we can suggest and and provide some uh, categories for your uh, uh, process. Okay, now that we added that one, you can see on-site service right there. Our team on location service is the description. You can leave this blank, but it's always nice to know what, what you have for your category. Okay, so now that we have the category set up already, we go into the work order. Go back to the work order. Okay, now from here, we click add new. So let's say the category since we added that one already. So just type in one letter and it comes out on site service. And then if you, need, if you need to put in some pictures, let's say, for example, uh, your workmen or the people that's working on site, they can take a picture of it and add it here. So let's say, for example, item is on this side here. So, Okay. So the work order system can be connected to the ticketing system. Uh, that requires some consulting work because we need to identify uh, how your company operates so we can link on the back end the ticketing system to, the, to your work order system and vice versa. But for now, these are in standalone systems. And if you need them to be connected, let us know. You can... Uh, we can provide consulting for you. We can customize that for you and uh, connect the two systems for your company. Okay, so right now we're going to call this one as the item. So, uh, item would be uh, customer loss internet connection. So for example, so, that's the thing. So customer lost internet connection, description, uh, VIP customer. The description, additional description about the outtakes, you know, about 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago. Uh, description too is that if you want to add in some ticket, you know, uh, some additional information on how you resolve the issue or your additional uh, findings about the problem, you can put that on the description too. So these are on the technician notes. These are technician notes now. For example, like that. So you have that. Uh, this is also the same thing as the uh, uh, tick, uh, help desk ticketing system where you can link your older ticket. To this one, since we don't have anything yet for this particular work order, so we cannot link back to the old one because there's nothing there yet. So the order date when the order came out on your on the uh, uh, technician to go out. Let's say for example you click on 
today, 23rd. And let's see some of the time is uh, 218. Okay, and then order my last name. This is from the customer, so let's say John. But order description, uh, outrage, barcode, leave that blank. And then the picked up date, which is, uh, which is now. Copy that one over there. Copy, and then the end date you didn't end it yet, so you're still working on. It. But this is gonna be the worker, so Joe Workman, Joe Technician, Joe Technician. Uh, description. Now information here, so we can leave it at that. Again, this is all the, this this is all depending on the way you run your business, on what how you wanna fill up all these fields here, and that's how you. Uh, it is based on how you run your business. So this is open right now, it's active. Then we click on add. There you go. So it's open like this. Immediately, you know who's the, uh, the customer, the customer here, and who's the technician that was sent out to and resolve the issue okay the so same thing with the other apps app module you can do a search here this is going to show you all the different search criteria here you can play around with that click on back if you're done with it or if you want to search continue with the search there's a dynamic search which is you just add by field and let's say for example you just want to search by uh, I don't know, category yeah, you, you can add a category here. Yeah, on site. That's the thing. Okay. So cancel that one. If you're good to go on that one, then you can click on apply, otherwise it's clear. And then it's gonna remove the uh dynamic search column, same thing as before with the other apps, app modules, you can set up the uh, columns on what you wanted to see on the column report right here. Whatever's reflected here, it's gonna show up here. Okay, it's gonna show up down here. If you remove one, it's gonna deduct that particular item. So it's a drag and drop in right here. If you remove the description, click apply. The description's right here. Click apply. 